Oh, look how small these little monitors are. How cool is that? I got two of these little guys. Stores monitors. That's their nickname. I'll get into it in a moment. But if you see her, her feet, she doesn't have any toes on this foot. Because she was colonized with um, a few. And when she was young, um, someone ripped her toes off. <laughs> That's what happens with monitors and colonization, and they mistake it as food. I don't know, but it could just be aggression as well. But this is a lovely female, and I got another boy in there too. And look at their setup. How cool is that? Wow. So today we're just going to go through a couple of new new animals and just cl clean out the red belly and um, but yeah so I'm just going to show you the stores monitor the Varanostaurus no Varan Varanus Storai that's their uh, scientific name they're one of Australia's uh, smallest uh, monitors and um, they're just a little bit duller in color than the Aki monitor. Um, but and they're a little bit smaller as well. Uh, these guys <clears throat> are found around rocky areas at the top end of Australia um, and the east coast. Um, but so yeah, so what I've done here is I've just given some hollow logs, um, some rocks, nice heat light, 100 watt heat light right there, so they get a real, real hot basking spot. And that's what they love. That's what most monitors love. So if you, they're um quite a beautiful little creature. Um, they got a lovely monitor personality, which makes them a really good friend as a, as a pet. And then I've put a massive uh, UVB light up the top as well, because they need lots of UV to keep the calcium in their in their life, as well as um, I feed them basically crickets, mealworms, um, bits and pieces of meat, um, whatever, basically what I feed the bell phase as well. Um, I give these guys a little piece of it, just to uh, give them a taste. But they're pretty cool. So I've got a breeding pair of these guys now. Um, so they will grow up to uh, about 40 centimeters in length. Uh, so these guys are only a couple years old and have still got plenty of growing to do. Um, that's including there. That's a, see the spines on its tail? So it's the same as the spiny tail, the Aki monitor. She's just digging underneath there to get up inside the hollow there. But um, yeah, so I'm getting in the breeding these guys. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see how we go. Um, just because they're a good... Uh, animal or as a pet they're uh, entertaining you can train them this guy uh, all monitors are really really smart so you can train them to eat out of the tongs play around they're really cool um, so I reckon it'd just be a cool addition to someone's family or something instead of just grabbing like a blue tongue even though blue tongues are really cool too um, and the beardeds they're really cool too um, this is a bit more active um, a bit more big of a personality they do run really quick, so you've got to be very careful. Um, but they do, they can be tamed down, just like anything really. I just got to spend some quality time with it, get used to it. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. So that's, that's the store of the monitors, anyway. So that's pretty cool. So um, what we're going to do to do, we're going to go over. going to go over to Mr. Red Belly. And he is growing, substantially growing. He's doing well. So what I'm doing now, so he was on this because uh, everything went through that mite treatment. If you saw my last video, um, he's done a couple of poos. He's done quite a few poos actually. I've fed him um, 
basically three little mice over the past week just to pump him up a bit to get him to a decent size for handling because when they're little they're not fun to handle so um he's actually done quite a few poos now so that's why i got to get in there clean them all out and um yeah, I'll just put some more paper towel down for a little bit longer. I haven't seen any traces of mites, but just while he's young, I'll um, keep him so he's got I got max visibility on him, so he will uh, tame down a little bit and get used to people and can't just be hiding in the substrate constantly. Um, he does have a hide there, obviously, so he can hide if he wants, but uh, just get into it, eh? So just while I have you here, um if you haven't noticed, uh, Brian Bershak over in America um, has announced that he has uh, cancer. So that's not good. So he's such a big inspiration for the reptile community around the world, not just in America. Um, over in Australia, everyone that keeps reptiles really knows about Brian Bershak. Um, and he's just a big inspiration to many, many people. So um, if you haven't uh, he's got heaps of support groups and stuff on uh, Facebook, YouTube, all that. If you haven't given him a message of uh, just kind words to um, give him some encouragement to fight fight this thing that is battling, um, he, I'm sure he's going to pull through it because his, he wrestles crocodiles, man. Like, of course you're going to beat cancer. Jeez. But, like, he's, he's going to be all right, I reckon. So if we just keep po posting and positive vibes towards... Uh, Brian Bershek, that would be awesome. Um, he's just a really big member in this community, and we should all, even even if it's just anyone fighting cancer, you should give them positive words and reinforcement to help them. Um, it, I couldn't imagine what he's going through. Um, he's got a lot of uh, family and friends and animals, so he's got... A lot on his plate at the same time as fighting off cancer so that is pretty crazy so if you haven't checked out his youtube go check out brian bershak he's he's a really good good reptile enthusiast um animal enthusiast just uh helps push the conservation and the relationships we have with animals a lot so that's that's my two seconds worth of uh get send send some positive vibes towards Bershek because he really needs it. Henry, anyway, back back to the day. These guys are going good too. Um, the babies, they're all eating. I've um, sold a few. Um, got some mates grabbing some as well. Um, and then now we're going to go check out this red belly. Alright, so basically what you want to do is you don't want to Overhandle a baby a lapid ever really and you gotta be pretty on your toes constantly. Um, they're very quick. Um, just as they're small, oh well even when they are big too. But um, mainly when they're small. Always use the hook until you have visual until you have visual on him. Once you've got a visual on him you can get in there and you can remove you can remove everything let's see what mood is in get two hooks I think it would probably be easier with my hand so you just got to be careful when they're little, because they can wrap back around. Um, but as we said, as I've said before, the red bellies aren't really that aggressive of a snake. But obviously, they have enough. They have enough venom, hemotoxins, and neurotoxins. You have to show it with full respect, because they can really stuff you around, and they will. If they feel threatened, they will just turn around and get you.
as you can see, it's getting a lot bigger. I'm just going to put him in here for now, just to um, clean out his cage. I do have a big, um, I do have a big bin with locks on it, but just as they're babies, um, easy to throw them in a tub like this. Make sure that it's locked and secure. Just dance around in there for a little bit. Right, and now I'm gonna get him to clean it. So I'll be back. Perfect timing. My mate Kyle just rocked up. So he's gonna he's gonna film while I get this back in. But if you come have a look, come have a look at the enclosure. It's all clean, ready to go. He gave it extra height to get a little bit close to the heat light. Just give him a little bit more heat in there. He does get really hot being in glass cabinet though. Alright, so Get him out. Now it's open. Body. Awesome looking creature. They hood up. They hood up like the cobra. Can't wait till it's a little bit bigger. <laughs> then it'll be a little bit more fun on the handle. But how cool is that? The Australian Cobra, <laughs> Red Belly, Black Snake. Uh, all, um, all Black Snake, all Black Snake's family, they all um, can flare out like that. Oh, I've got to fix up this cage now. Call that the bondage session. Now the bonding session. Bondage. That's it lads. See you next time.